Drop it. Hello, welcome. Uh, I'm going to try to do something new, or at least new. Uh, I had like one or two people ask me on how to, I built my house. I sort of like a, if you can see behind me, a sort of a modeler or like a segmented way of building just a single house. Uh, I am going to show you like like in depth, like I have them now in the background, but I'm, I am going to show you in depth for each uh, block pretty much how to. The, um, th these two are, are a bit out of order since like I made this one first and then made like the rest and then oh yeah this one was also a decent idea that I did once so <laughs> that's enough to talk. ignore this one until I get to it <laughs> but yeah like I usually build my house in a six by six of a, a, like the frame inside so like this row this row and that row are all six by six by still bit the six six six. 5x5x5, five by five by five, pretty much, like this is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 up, and then like the actual uh, building frame is 6 by, no, is 7 by 7 by 7 if I say it correctly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, three. yeah, 7, 7, 7 by 7, they just said 6 by 6 by 6, oh well, bad joke. But yeah, I usually just set my house up with either spruce logs or, on the rare occasion, dark oak logs. But that was uh, sometimes a bit too dark, so I kept these all in spruce woods, and I pretty much like it. Um, like the modular housing sort of gives a easier way to design your house, or at least think about how big you want it. And if you have that, you can pretty much design it any way you want. I will hop over to another server when I have like all these uh, blocks, like all the uh, different ver uh, ver uh, versions, um, well explained, sorta. Uh, since I got like a finished house there with uh, with a type of roof and I got like one on the frost network where I usually play my either survival and creative with like with a different type of roof that you can see on the left I forgot to build that one but I can show it there uh, I will cut out like the connecting to the servers and everything like that but well yeah and um, well this is the original group no surprise there uh, you can pretty much Start easy. You can leave like the if you make like either four or six, you can leave like one uh, floor out. If you make like a two-story house, so that like you have one other uh, another one up here. Pretty much just simple. You can like leave this one open and then like put your wall in that one or like even one back to sort of mimic the one over there. So yeah, it gives like a bit of a frame. You can pretty much fill in the roof here with. Well, a block you want, put some lighting under it, and you have like a nice little um, dry entrance. You can even put like little fences over here and have like a plant grow over it. I can show you that one in uh, the first server that I want to show. But yeah, this is pretty much the most easy one out of them, out of them all. And it doesn't really matter how you place your doors. Although, since the inside is a five, like it's an odd number, double doors usually don't look as good as I want them to. So what I sometimes do... Instead of like the um, well double doors, I can usually go like that. But I need to sort of play with the settings, or at least place with setting the doors so that those doors either well close like inwards to the same side or clo uh, open to you on the same and like in the same direction, so you don't get like a weird like the both doors are the same. But yeah, that's pretty much decent. I haven't put room uh, like windows in any of them. I think uh, except the last one. As windows, but they're all closed. It's just like pretty much a mimic, and I can show you win windows if you want to. Yeah. But this is like the even simpler one. Pretty much just a filled up cube. You can do this however you want, since it, it gives you like the um, well the most space, and you can like use it either as a uh, cornerstone or I don't know, prop, uh, stuff it like somewhere in the center that you don't need to make any type of wall. If you have like a, a three by three in these cubes. You can have like one empty one, like the center one will be empty and like the other ones can be that's pretty much just a room. So it's just, just like this wall or like that wall, pretty much do however you want to. Now we get to a bit more comical one since I put, these are actually two, um, two different types, but I think personally they complement each other. Well, you can do however you want to. Um, I forgot what this is called in English, I think it's either a veranda or a porch. You can make like your end, either this, you can like make your house, um, 
with like this as a like a port around the house and you have like your entrance and you have to walk around the ports to get there or if you have like if you think you made your house a bit too big but you don't want to get it away in case your uh, I don't know your axes are a bit bad or and I don't know what kind of reason you want or think if you just want to do this you can have like a full row I can show you again like in the other server Sorry if this all sounds a bit chaotic, I'm pretty much ad-libbing ad this. Since I'm sort of in a hurry, I forgot to post a video Wednesday, so I have to put on this video plus the Let's Build video on um, on, on the YouTubes about the Jungle Tree, um, Tree Houses contest, okay, at least the Tree Houses co contest on the Frosted Network. I, can, uh, I don't have to show you since I have like a little show around in the other one. What I can tell here is that he already notified me that if I finish this before the 10th of March I will at least have a spot in the top three. I don't know what it is but I'm really di dying to know what it is. I'm still thinking about ideas I can put into that village to sort of up it a notch to maybe get like the first or the second place but yeah we'll see. Yeah, but um, back to this. Like this low one, I pretty much did it on all four sides. But you can like do just one row, or you can if I could, you could even if like this is your wall, this row, you can even like leave this one out. So just for a bit broader of a part, it just depends how you want to sort of well build your house, pretty much. You can like have a few of these next to next to each other. It gives a bit of depth, since although we're building rather square, like um. I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name, but uh, like green usually is set. Like a flat house is usually boring. Like I can do it easy. Like this cube is boring. Like no matter how many fancy windows you put in it, like if you uh, if you build it out a bit or like well I can flow through that one. Like if you do it a bit like this, like it's still not a big of an uh, like an update or like a better version of that same cube but it does add since you make like the room one smaller so it still adds a bit of depth then you can use like either for spruce fences or even I forget what are they call I think I called yeah the cobblestone like if you really want to sort of have like a difference in like materials like I always try to sort of experiment with different uh, combinations of materials either they still have to complement each other like color wise or texture wise or like in some way complement some something so like here you can either do like the right with the fences doesn't matter with color which type it is and left you can do your stone walls or like you can even do the mossy version if you really like it or if you want to add the color green to the, all the browns since it does is like a bit of a dark color combination the all the browns and then with a bit of gray but well I'm yeah not about color combinations. But yeah, also, uh, that is this box. It's pretty much the same square, one to the center, and then yeah, added the fences. And you could even, like, if you really want to have, like, a little cutesy cottage uh, sort of house. Okay, let me get, get a, pe uh, a ping. Like, you can even make it, like, a little cutesy little housey. A cutesy little housey. Remind me to never say that again. And have, like, a window. It's, like, exactly windows between the uh, spruce, uh, at least between the fences, like if you really want to, you can go up here, but I would rather keep it square. Like again, you get like, it doesn't add much, but you get like two and a half layers of depth instead of just a flat wall or like just one block down, you go like, you got, if I that's uh, one, that's two, you got like three uh, halves of a block into the building. It creates depth and it makes the building a bit more interesting than just a flat square. Like it doesn't depend how you use them, like too much of one thing is ugly, I think. Like if you make like your whole lower floor or like your whole top floor purely this, or like this one and then that one, like all the combinations for each other, then it gets a bit too chaotic. Like you still have your depth, but then you have utter chaos. And like there's only one person I know that likes chaos and that's Discord, uh, the character from MLP, pretty much. Long story short, Google it if you really want to. But yeah, like on this one, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't, don't have a name for this and I don't know what it's called. But this is like a, like I haven't used this version on the bottom floor yet. I have used it multiple times on the low, on the top floor. Then like it doesn't get, it gives the like the little trim on the outside a bit more of a well look. Also, instead of going smaller, I went bigger. It also gives you like more room inside. What I usually do with this part, I use it as a storage room since you have like uh, all the likes. <laughs> since you can use like the yeah the, the like the trim. On the outside, like the little room between 
like you can place like pretty much all your chests and like uh, pretty much everything in those boards while you still have like your normal five by five spades within like the walls and again this gives a look on the inside and makes it like a bit more interesting to look at from the outside again combining all the different types of gray i kept it with the cobblestone stairs but you can use the stone bricks if you really want to you can change these if you find it a bit too gray uh, you can oh, i have them in my inventory you can go back to like the spruce fences or if you really like you like this is just for me it's a bit of a basic build like i use, when i make houses i usually use this type of building it can look good without doing much like you're pretty much just playing with the blocks that you have like uh, like i really want to see if like someone builds a house using um like this sort of modular building Please leave a link down below or like tweet a picture to me at, at WalterVD. I will put the link like somewhere. I put my uh, my social media links down below. You can follow, like, I don't know what you want to do, but you can follow me there. Uh, for now, we'll only do twi Twitter, but I may add DeviantArt and Facebook later on. But like outside wise, you can also change the way it looks. Like here, I kept the wool since I don't li I, I like the wool part, left like the wooden trim. You can have like a little notch at the top and then I played a bit with stairs like this one is upside down This one is straight and then a normal block here or then the same thing mirrored here So you can still see like the locks through the walls Well this one rather simple rather plain but just like finish the little loop of and the side around it And still keeping like this and you can still do like what I did on the other side and do Do like this or if you're really feeling adventurous you can even Like if you want if you have like a beautiful uh, view you want to keep or like really have a good look at or you have like something beautiful you made like right around the corner you can even do this just make it a full window it will turn it a bit more modern uh, compared to the build since it does sort of look like a medieval style build but maybe that's just me i haven't done this in a modern style i may do it once maybe do it twice and maybe a third time if i really like it but yeah uh, here the same as the previous but then i kept it with i did it with stone bricks since it's sort of all, all the grays again and here I did like upside down stairs and even here you can pretty much just play around with the different placings of just one staircase. Since if I go like this, you have like a little T-band in, in the, of a T-band, a, um, a split in the center. And then if I go like this, you have like two little cutouts and you can even pretty much put a blocking like that to keep it sort of decorative. You can grab uh, wooden slabs. go like this go like that or pretty much fill it in it's pretty much i want to say in dutch what you like in ruiken um translates to what you, what uh, what you think smells right it's a bit of a bad bad joke around my father also village but yeah well yeah like this these are all the okay one two three four five They're like there's all the six versions that i use you can combine you can edit you can change it to your own tastes if you don't like spruces you can use freaking acacia wood i think that would even look better if you use acacia instead of the spruce log since the gray of the acacia may make the stone look a bit more you can make it like a bit more faded like a bit more worn like this really old like a really old building or something like that it's still minecraft cubes but a bit different uh, but the six styles, um, I love to see what someone else comes up with, like something that I haven't tried yet is make like a circular version that like instead of the uh, like the normal 5x5 five five square, you take like this row down, but at least you take like one corner out and I need to check, I need to remember how did, how did you square, how did you circle? <laughs> I know it's Minecraft and it's well technically not possible to make a f f fully good looking circle. Yeah, you can, you can like go like this and copy it to like all the four sides and you have like a really big Circle instead of just a square build and even then you can sort of play with different versions Although I do think that this version will be rather hard to copy on a circular one, but that's something I may try later on Um, Well, this pretty much just walls um, What I also went over is roofs. Well the most at least I have three here I have a fourth one on the frosted server, which I will show later on um, yeah, this is pretty much the easiest roof I could think of. It's like it's flat You can pretty much just put a fence around it or put like stone uh, if you really want to stone walls around it um, One thing you could do that's maybe like with, with the second one or with the, the third one from now um, It's maybe handier to do but I will say it there But like you can put a wall here instead of the stone like instead of the fences um, I don't know you can make like a little sun terrace on top of your 
roof, on, on top of your roof. You have like a balcony. That's the right word, a balcony. Um, I don't know if this is the second style of roof. I don't know what it's called, but I see Green building it a lot. So I start calling it the Green Roof. I think I might check him down in the down somewhere. But yeah, he has a lot of tutorials. It's uh, G R I E N. You can Google. You can look it on. You can look him up on Google. He does awesome. Let's builds and well, like some building games and such. It's really fun to watch. He has even made a pre like a map where you can learn how to make like a. Um, a, like a old classic style cottage, which is really fun to do. I haven't done it myself, but I've heard people uh, s telling to me that it was fun to do. But um, yeah, pretty much a roof. And what I sometimes do, and I did it on the other server, I pulled this one through, and then like close this one off, which doesn't do much. But what it does do, what it does do, it gives you like a bit of a second floor, which you can use for storage if you really need it. If you want to keep like your lower floors pretty clean, you put like your stairs down. If you have a mod of, or like a command block, you have like your chairs and your benches, and I don't know what you can pretty much have fun with the lower flooring and keep that like nice and clean looking, like how like roomy. And then have your top floor for like pretty much Minecraft purposes, and have your full on storage up here. You can even go like a second layer up here. So you can use this as a like as an extra storage space, and it doesn't take away from like the house itself. Itself, since if you light it up here, it will still look like it's livable. And you can make a stairs like oh, oh yeah, um, I will say that at the end, but I can show you later on. Uh, the last one is my personal favorite. It's the garden roof, although it doesn't look very sturdy. If you think if there was like a physics map on here, I think this floor would pretty much just go through the ground. But if you build this house like on a cliff or on an edge, you can use your roof to hold your animals. If you have like four of them or five of them connected to each other, you can have like you remove the um, like the fences in the center. You remove like the stones on one corner, if I can build correctly, and fill it in with dirt. And you can do like on the whole thing. And then you have like your animals on, on top of your roof. It's functional. It looks good, and it will sort of blend your house into the scenery. If you look at these, if you look at it from the top. From the sides will, will be a bit harder, but like from the top it will sort of look like, well, it was always there. But yeah, onto, oh, wrong button, onto the server. Might as well keep it going. Um, the first one I want to show is the, um, well, it's like the flat roof version. Like it's the roof that I haven't done on, um, the, on the map. Since I pretty much forgot about it, and the moment I started recording, I was like thinking, "Oh, I could do this. I could do that one." And also, you can see sort of here what I've done. Like I'm still using the same building style, since this is the same sort of idea. It's a bit different, at least. Uh, now that is, now that I look at it, it's like it's the same idea as I did with the second floor, but then a bit of a twist at it to make it a bit more fatter. And if you have, like the one block in version, but the roof is pretty much just stone bricks and hay bales, since it sort of looks. Since it sort of looks like a calm, like a sort of a cozy type of house style. And then I have like the lower ones sort of combined with the one in blocks to sort of give it a bit of depth. And I have, and I made with spruce leaves and some fences, like a sort of plant that grows against it. It gives it a bit more depth to your building and it also looks like it's been standing there for a little while. Like even on the inside, you can still, you can leave your, um, like, your, like the cross beams, if you call them that. And like what I, you can do what I did and put a, um, well, a redstone block or let some torch in it and use them as a lighting purpose. Since you do tend to have like corners and places that you don't get your lamps or your torches into. And then something like these corners will sort of help against that. And it gives you a, a rather roomy type of building. Yeah. And you can also see... If I could, uh, it's back. Also the... The balcony version of my build is actually not mine idea. It's actually someone else's their idea. I got Timmy123. You can see his name in the left corner below. He sometimes is he online here. I don't see him that much, but yeah. Uh, I, he wanted to build his own house, which I don't mind. I really don't. But I tried to go with the same style of house, uh, like a, uh, the same building style throughout this village. So. I said like, okay, if you do like the block like this, blah, 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 you can pretty much fill it in however you think you like it, which isn't bad. It's really good. It actually ended up looking pretty good. Like something like this is something I haven't thought of. Again, I really like seeing people taking what I think of or like someone else thinks of the same with like the other around. If I see something, I want to try and make it my own. It may not be the only one here, but yeah. So 
that per, like the porch version goes to credits goes to him since he thought of it but I'm just adding it into my house uh, here's like a different version it's like really small it's a two by two by two two by two by two yeah uh, it has the lower floor like with the one block in although I think we had a creeper here or something destroyed part of his house I need to fix that later on or at least I can fix it now since I don't have the materials so I don't like that temporary oh yeah it's for sale um, you have your balcony over here. I, uh, I don't have my. Yeah, I recently died here, so I don't have most of my tools on my hotbar. But if you keep it like really simple, you could do like this with the empty plot. It's a bit of a weird corner due to the bigger half of this house, but uh, over the, th this floor. So you can have like your little balcony in uh, on your second floor or something. This is a bit of a special one. It's the green roof, but way exaggerated high and yeah you can have like a really big like a really big window if you put shaders on it will look perfect i don't have shaders with optifine since it gives me some groovy effects i will take a look at it when it's up for 1.9 but again again with the hay bills the stone and it gives a lot of room on our second floor which she hasn't used yet oh oh i forgot that she left also plot for sale I think I'm going to run out of people in my town really quick. Oh, we are... <laughs> okay, a lot of people left. We <laughs> only are with four people, and I think the fourth is not even online. Also, this tower is a bit of an exclusion on the building rule. It's still the same style, but it looks a bit different. Uh, also goes for the viewing platform, which might as well look, might as well showcase a bit. Is also my ender spawner. In the, this server, you can get spawners out of chests. Oh, I thought they were turning cloud clouds off. It's pretty much your run of the mill. Oh god, I've all done going. Your run of the mill spawner and like pistons pushing the enemy off a ledge and they will fall down and all the way down. Hop is here and then a chest here with pretty much all the pearls. But yeah, that's for this one. Um, I do need to quit this game since like the other servers on 1.9. The multiple the server I play on hasn't been opened yet for 1.9, so if you give me one minute to go there. Also, there won't be Optifine there, but eh. Yeah, which one did I call it? Oh, yeah, normal MC. But yeah, again, if you make your house like this, or even use a tiny bit of what I said here and use it on your own house. Please show me your pictures. I really want. To I really want to see people like people their buildings. I might even go as may even go as far as eventually have like a city of people trying to build my house. Of them trying to build no, my house. It's not my house technically, but to use like that type of building as a house. I don't have the ser I don't have like a server a server big enough to have that capacity. But still, I really want to. Sh really want to. Um. Is it still there? Or is this a chunk that's not loading? Oh, it's a chunk not loading. Like, I sort of took a row off here since I wanted, um, I sort of moved to that one. But, like, even in a small version, this is just a 2x2. Two two. I didn't even make, like, made it look bigger. Like, you can see it's sort of flat. It falls. It's still, it's fun to look at, but it's fall. It's a bit boring, to be honest. Like, inside-wise, you still have your your room. And I made, like, I made a stairs here in case I needed at the, th at the time to go up here. But, again... I moved, so I don't need it anymore. And I eventually went over to this house. This is like the bigger one I'm really proud of. And this is also the reason why I'm doing this video. Since two people on the server asked me, or at least I asked them if they want to have a video to sort of explain how I built these type of houses. Also, if you guys are watching, hi. <laughs> and like, I made a little garden, a little walkway. Again, these are like sort of like plants growing up a trellis and pretty much going up onto the house. This is like the empty block. Instead of no roof, I placed, um, well, fences on it as a sort of trellis again. Have like the plant, the spruce leaves, which sort of represent a growing plant, sort of hang through it and up to the house. And then this is the normal two by two of the normal filled in block. And this is the actual, like, front, like the porch. And I kept it closed. Inside is still a bit boring. I'm still decorating. In Funny enough, inter-decoration, not my thing. <laughs> but I made, like, 
Oh, door outside. You can walk here. You can. I can make a few. Make a few stairs. Uh, make a few like benches out here. That are not really usable. But maybe if they put in a mod that allows me to make benches or commands. Uh, I use like the smaller, like the inside of the part of, of the block to have like a little storage area close to well, close to where I need it. So when I need to make like something, I use a lot. So if I I'm going to tend to farm outside, so stuff like wheat, beetroot, since I can farm them here. Uh, potatoes, carrots, all the farm stuff will go in these chests and stuff that I don't need that much, like building materials right now, will go on my attic. Yeah. I don't know what to do with this one yet. Is this, is this is jungle wood. I didn't do... Huh? Lol. Okay. Never using shaders, never using... Uh, John's uh, building theme again, since I don't like jungle wood. Funny enough that I made it, that I made a whole forest. Like I love the biome, I don't like the wood. I'll, I will edit that. I will edit that in uh, somewhere off recording. This is the bottom floor. Then we go up once. Like the only downsides to this building style, you can't have like one straight staircase in just one of the blocks. Like I sort of cheated here since there's a lamp here. So I made one straight and went like that. But you can also make like a corner or you can pretty much play with the stair layout. I made like a little kitchenette over here. They have one floor up. Here I used... Oh, oh wait, I'm a creative. They don't notice me. No senpai didn't notice me. But like here you can see like the garden version. I haven't done that much to this garden. I'm still editing it. I made like, I made like a little waterfall that falls into the actual garden, which I will showcase later. Again, these are just the same blocks, but empty. And I did a bit of a difference by using, like instead of the full logs in this one, I made like a bit more interesting by using the cobblestone walls. Like I don't do this on this log, since then you will look inside and do it to the windows, it wouldn't look right. But like on outside corners, if you make like the cor the um, like the inside of wood, or like pretty much close, you can do this on like the... Uh, outside corners, if I say it correctly. But like, yeah, little garden area. I mean, I sort of use the knee, like on top I have my storage, and then below here I had like a weird little corner with it where I didn't know what to do with it. So, enchanting table. It's a bit too much, but it looks like, it, it looks imposing. It looks like grand. And pretty much this is like something like from high, you're down below, and I come up here, la 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 la, sort of idea. And this is just all just empty space. I, d I made, s I think I built a bit, like this house a bit too big. I don't know what to fill this with. With I can do like tons of storage, ch like st tons of chests, but I don't think I will be happy with that. I need to think of like a sort of way to make this space useful. Like it's really tempting to build big. Since I will be honest, I only made this house since I sort of wanted to one up the brogoda. So uh, on the other end, again, this is just storage with. Um, armor stands, which will be filled later on. A little balcony on top, and then more storage. And the the pagoda is pretty much just a pagoda, and pagoda it's like the pagoda over there. Pagoda, pagoda, pagoda. <laughs> pretty someone reminisce me on how to say that, but like, I want to sort of one up this building by building that. The only thing I did was like make like the bridge design. I just made one part, and I asked him, "Have fun copying." <laughs> and this is also a little project I started on. I asked permission if, I, if I, they want wanted me to build it. Uh, this is either going to be a windmill or a lighthouse. <coughs> and that was a sneeze. I felt it coming. Woo. But yeah, I don't think I have any more to say. Slash weather clear. Thank you. But yeah, again, this is just the green type of roof. Again, don't know what it's called. With like the one out segment, with like the even a little bit of extra, but like the roof hanging over it. This is the garden roof with like stairs to sort of set it, made, made it a bit more different. Here again with the gray, with like the normal block and the green roof. All pretty much normal blocks. I haven't used the one in in this one. Only like the 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 yeah the balcony or like the pergola of the patio. Wait, the inside is a patio, but yeah, like this version, and then I have like the normal blocks everywhere. I think I may change this outside wall to the one in version, but I'm not sure yet. It does make make the house a bit smaller. 
I like this inside bit is a bit it's small, but I made like a little garden in it, like a chair with trapdoors as lean as armrests, and then a little, little path to like a little cozy little table. I want to make a checkerboard, but it's a bit too big. Fuck you, skeleton. Uh, flowers and then like a little waterfall. It doesn't do much, but it makes the house look a bit more alive. And everywhere pressure plates. All the pressure plates. And um, yeah, then um, sort of thinking what I can add to this. Like I can show King Farquaad. At least I forgot his real name, but I'm using his account name for now. Uh, I sort of helped him with the staircase. It's not that much, but he had like just pretty the staircase, and I added all that stuff to make it a bit more interesting. Like a staircase is a staircase. You can do nothing about that, but you can adjust the way it looks. It still has to be useful. That's like th that's a must. But still, I made like indirect lighting. So instead of a torch or, or like just the glowstone in place to get that like a bit of a light source, and it even goes all the right way back. The stairs are just there to give like a bit of a negative space and it looks well. The archway is just like a sort of a way of showing that it's the build, like the, the structure actually supports the roof. It's still not done. Like this roof sort of makes like, like, I don't know what it's called, I think it's a concave, like a sort of a pyramid upwards inside the roof. And that's going to be edited on, that's going to be done on both sides of the wall. You have like your little armor stands and like there's not another one over there. And then we have like a little dining area that's coming up here. I did say he needs to make the um, like the door a bit like one like one or two blocks higher since like this room is huge. And then he's like a small little door. But yeah. Do you can like sort of see like I said that this would be like a good idea for a table design. <laughs> I really like to put the doors at the back. It does make like look like really classy chairs. Like I still need to make. That's it. That's the one thing I have to do, and I'm doing that off screen, off screen to make like a little of a, um, a chandelier in the center. I think I may um, square this out, so I have like this square, and then make like a pyramid going down, and then like all fences with like glowstone on the edges, or like sea lanterns to sort of light up the center area. Since this is rather dark, the walls are my are my design. Again, you can leave a wall just a wall, which is boring, but you can also give it depth. Again, with the indirect lighting, with sea lanterns this time, I may if, may use glowstone next time, but yeah. I want to use red and gold, so made it like a red and gold uh, crest in the center, with the spruce fences around it. Dark oak with uh, wood and, uh, yeah, dark oak, wood and stairs over here to sort of give it like a bit of depth. And it doesn't do much, but it does make the room look bigger. Although one thing I'm really annoyed about, and I really want to edit that, the room is an even number, and he made the table off center. And I really want to have like to do um, this row of blocks and this row of chairs, one to like over here, and then the, the actual table over here, and then like this block over here, and then copy it to the whole thing. Since it just it is off, it's like annoyingly off. Maybe just me. Like I don't have OCD, but I do have a tendency to sort of. You're like really precise about something. Like, like it's an even room, so keep the table even. Don't place uneven things in even sp uneven sp of. Don't place uneven things in even spots, and don't place even spot in uneven rooms. If that makes any sense, I may cut that out. I don't think so. But yeah, um, this is pretty much all I can show. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this video was to any use to anybody that watches it. Leave a comment if you like it, like if you like it, but that's like thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more, and again, comment down below if you want to see like more Let's Builds. Like I have an idea for a map, but I'm not sure if I will make it. Uh, what I can do instead of a like a episode Let's Build, what I can do like on the Wednesday is do a live stream either on Twitch or on Picardo, one of the two, which works better for me, and for like, everybody, and for of course everybody viewing. And do like a let's build like directly and like if people ask me something they can ask me questions like right away. Like I don't think like in the first few days I will get a lot of viewers but I don't mind. Like I do, like although Minecraft has gone a bit stale for me I've played the game so much that it's, it's sort of becoming boring. Like not, uh, like yeah it's, it's hard to say like it's not boring but it's, 
I don't know how to say it. Like, it's also the reason why I sort of, quote-unquote, forgot to post a video on Wednesday, since I pretty much didn't feel like doing Minecraft. Like, this was fun, like, this house was fun to build, and, like, due to King Farquaad and, like, zombies asking me, or at least, asking me, um, me asking them if they want to have, like, a little bit of a tutorial build, uh, for it. So I made this video, I hope, again, you like it. I have been blabbering in this last few, in this last half hour for a bit too much. Yeah, I can I can't say any uh, say anything more. So again, thanks for watching. Until the next one, good night.